Edvotech Tips Edible Petri Plates An important step in many biotechnology experiments is creating and harvesting bacteria colonies. Colony isolation is used in microbiology to identify and test bacteria strains and in biotechnology to create competent cell cultures for transformation. A colony is a visible mass of microorganisms that all originate from a single mother cell. Bacteria that are grown on nutrient-rich agar can quickly form distinct circular colonies. Each of these colonies represents an individual cell that has divided repeatedly. One popular way to create these colonies is to streak an agar petri plate. This involves diluting a solution of live bacteria by systematically spreading it over different areas of the plate. After incubation, independent colonies will be visible and can then be collected. Both streaking and colony collection are simple techniques, but they can be challenging. Common issues include tearing or gouging the soft auger, under or over diluting the sample during streaking, and not transferring the sticky bacteria colony during collection steps. Other potential problems are contamination and slow growth. These mistakes can jeopardize the success of your experiments. The best way to avoid these pitfalls is to practice. Edible Petri plates are a fun way to master streaking and collection techniques. The best part about these plates is that a mistake just means more jello snacks rather than a failed experiment. For this exercise, you'll need a pack of jello, a stack of petri plates, or the lids from any wide mouth jars or containers, toothpicks or inoculating loops, small test tubes, cake icing, vegetable oil, food coloring, and vanilla flavoring. To prepare the plates, mix the jello powder and water according to the package directions. Pour the mixture into the lower lid of each petri plate, filling about halfway. Then, cool them in the fridge until the jello is solid or until you're ready to practice streaking or colony collection. To practice streaking, create a simulated bacterial culture by mixing vegetable oil with vanilla flavoring or food coloring. The viscosity and color of this solution allows you to see the decline in concentration between streaks. For guidance, our video titled Preparation of Bacterial Source Plates demonstrates the quadrant streak. To practice collection, create around 10 small spots of icing on a fresh jello plate. Add a small amount of water to a test tube. Using a toothpick, remove a colony from the plate. Next, twist the toothpick inside the test tube until you see the sticky frosting dissolve in the water solution. Celebrate the mastery of a new skill by consuming any leftover creations. Now that you're a pro at handling bacteria, start planning how you can use these skills. Edvotech's experiments that use these skills include investigating synthetic biology, construction and cloning of a DNA recombinant, exploring biotechnology with GFP, and rainbow transformation. <laughs>